ship construction to know the ship construction we have to know some basic terms used in ship construction okay when we are looking at the ship from front view uh, we can get the following terms number one is breadth b uh, it can be expressed in two forms breadth extreme and molded breadth breadth extreme is the maximum beam wherever it occurs on the hull it may be above or below the water level this is known as breadth extreme now other is breadth molded it is a maximum breadth or beam of the ship measure inside the inner shell stakes of plating and usually occurs on a midship there is a plate thickness and inside this thickness the breadth which is known as molded breadth then draft of ship is coming draft of ship is measured as molded draft which is the distance from the baseline to the water line here it is a baseline and here it is a water line and this is draft depth molded this is a vertical distance between the molded baseline and the top of the beams of the uppermost continuous stack measured at the side of ship. Now, in this section, this is the uppermost continuous stack, and from the baseline, this is known as molded depth. Now, other thing is bilge radius. The ship cross section at the lower corner rounded off, and its same is called bilge part. This section is known as bilge part and is curved and this radius is known as bilge radius. The center line when we look the ship from the front view in this triangle is repre represented by this yellow line is known as center line. Okay then comes the dead rise. Dead rise is the amount of angle that forms between the boat bottom or ship's bottom and horizontal plane either side of the center keel here is the center keel and it is the rise from here the rise it can be expressed in angles or in um, length the shear is measure of longitudinal main deck curvature in naval architecture The transfer curvature of deck from the center line down to the sides. This camber is used on the exposed deck to drive water out of the ship. In this same figure, the rise of floor or dead rise is also shown. We can see a perpendicular. It is taken at the aft side of the rudder post. On the forward side, we can see forward perpendicular. It is the vertical line that intersects the forward side of the stem with the summer load line. Now there is length between perpendiculars. It is the length of ship along the water line and between the aft and forward perpendicular. One more term on the length is length on water line. This is the length at which water line intersects the forward and aft of the ship. Now length overall, maximum length of the ship from forward to aft. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to keep us motivated. Thank you.